So I got a call about a red-eared slider that had a fish hook stuck in its mouth. So there's some people fishing at Mill Lake and they just caught the turtle by accident. And uh, they wanted to know if I'd be able to get the hook out for them. So they dropped the turtle off. And uh, when I took a look at the turtle, I thought the hook had actually fallen out. But instead, it's actually lodged deeper in its throat than I, I actually thought it would be. So if you come and take a look here, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it. We got a, it's an angry little turtle. Open your mouth, open up. I don't know if you guys can see the hook in there. It might be blurry or... I can't Not too see sure. It. No, she's holding her head too high. Okay. Open your mouth. Open up. Can you see it in there? Yeah. 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 So now what we got to do? I'm I'm not going to try to take it out because if I try to take it out, we could hurt her more because we, you know, she's an angry turtle in the first place. And then we have to try to hold her head, and we actually have to push the hook back, which and I don't want to do any more damage to her throat or or anything. Um, so I feel the best way to do this is to take it to the vet, the Dudney Trunk Animal Hospital, and uh, see if we can get it out there. So we're gonna go and we'll show you the whole uh, whole process that's being done. Ketamine. 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 Well, actually, this gives fairly profound sedation. This actually can get them to a surgical plane of anesthesia. And the nice thing is, there's an antidote. So mm -hmm. all I have to do is inject them with a reversing agent, and you'll be awake a little bit. So I'm going to hold them while I grab the leg. Her. Her, yeah. Well, medium girl. All right. And we always make sure to inject into the front of the animal. Because if you put it in the back, it goes to the liver first, and you don't get as much in there. Does she like that? Yeah, <laughs> she's mad. <laughs> so the nice thing is, uh, she should fall asleep in uh, about uh, five to ten minutes, and so we'll have you wait up front, and then oh. we'll bring her back in here and get the hook out. Sounds good. We're gonna cheat and put them upright. <laughs> oh, her upright. There we go. Just makes my job a little bit easier. Okay. You can just kind of hold the head out like that. And we're going to. Yeah, she's still got some kick to her. She's fighting. Yeah. But. good. See, we want them light, but we don't want them too light. So there's our hook. Is it in her tongue or in her throat? Or is it on the side? That's what we couldn't tell. It is in the side. So we reach in, pull in, and I was told it wasn't barbed. It doesn't feel like it's barbed. But it's Perfect. Uh, yeah. And it wasn't barbed. Perfect. But take a look at the strength of the jaw. It looks like mm. she crushed it a little mm. bit. Maybe, I don't know. Okay. Uh, well, I can't say I'm sad that she was caught because they are the invasive species, but it kind of sucks the way she was caught. Yep, right. that has got to hurt. So, yeah. I'm going to, at this point, go and give her a long-acting antibiotic that will last for about a month on reptiles, which is nice. And the other one is some pain control, because she deserves some kind of relief. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Thank you. This other thing that's kind of interesting on this one is we do these things to help these animals out, but... Technically, the anesthesia was $100, the exam was $60, the three injections are uh, another $60. Bucks. 
there's some reason we we've got a skunk in the back, and the skunk's in the back because we're not going to let an animal suffer. How does it get heatstroke again? I didn't know it's technically heatstroke. I thought they just know they're going to the shade or something. Oh, well, it's a juvenile. Um, hadn't eaten very much, uh, and uh, was found in a backyard. Might have gotten trapped. No access to water. It was dehydrated. Didn't spray anybody when they went to catch it. It was not awake, awake enough to spray anybody. Okay, so that was our pain control. And given the location of that hook, we don't want to have any abscess there because uh, one forms. This poor guy's girl's not going to be able to eat. Pretty well awake in about 15 minutes. Unfortunately, she's going to have, be acting weird for yeah. probably the next 48 hours. And the reason for that is one of the drugs we use on these guys is a thing called Special K on the street, which is ketamine. It's a anti, it's a anesthetic that uh, works by uh, making them not realize what's going on. Mm. But it can stay in their system for a little bit longer. So. Yeah, but we should start to wake up soon. So she's like, can I weird because she yeah. was a turtle living in Mill Lake. Uh, where's the bleeding coming uh, from? Uh, this arm, yeah. Okay. Just go to the direction. Yeah, so let's just clean that up. Okay. It's still bleeding, Okay. Oh, we're good. Grab your pills. All done with her? Yep. Perfect. Thank you very much. I said, not going to let something suffer. I was Walton at the Duty Truck Animal Hospital. Uh, the hook is out now and she's wake, woken up now, so she's good to go back into the water. Um, so we're going to put her in this little temporary enclosure here until she gets a new home, which hopefully will be in the next week or so. So I just want to remind everybody just to really do the research before they get an exotic pet of any sort, even, it is, even if it is something just as simple as a turtle, because this here. It was caught in Mill Lake in Abbotsford, but it was obviously a pet at some point in time. Uh, these things are not native to BC. They're things that people buy in pet stores really cheap and then let go because they get too big or too aggressive or, or you know, multiple reasons. So really do your research before you buy an exotic pet. So things like this don't happen because this is completely preventable. All right, so we'll put her in her new home. Right there. Let's see if she goes into the water. She's still a little out of it right now. The anesthetic hasn't fully worn off yet, but... Sure, she'll come around. Maybe not. Yeah, she's still a little out of it. Oh, well, we'll just leave her there and yeah, check in a couple hours. I'm sure she'll be fine. Thanks for watching.